might not even have to worry yeah, about it because the challenger has just been engined and he just fires a heat round into the russian infantry right next to that warrior nearly killed his own warrior and now he is tracked and hit again rpgs just flying in this armored group is stuck without any type of support rpgs flying every which way you can see there's just so much smoke from every single vehicle on the field rpg is landing one landed a little short hey guys my dog here and today we've got another episode of i'm the sky where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down and this one we have the british up against the russian vdv on anvil this is Anvil Invasion V1, and it is the very first Eye in the Sky we have in Squad 7.2. That means that we have map voting, faction voting, subunit faction voting. This entire game that you're going to see here, there's never been a matchup like this in Squad before. We have the British Armed Forces in their third division battle group, which has a bunch of warriors and a challenger, as well as a couple helicopters up against the VDV, who have also chosen to have heavy vehicle presence here this asymmetrical balance has made so many of these games just so much more fun the replayability in squad now is insane and although i typically don't really like anvil this match was awesome you know the title you see the length of it but hey you're in for a treat trust me the combat in here is amazing the ambushes the counters it's just such a good game and we have it all because of map voting and the direction squad is going into so if you're still one of the few who haven't been a big fan of the ico just jump in seriously the game is a lot of fun right now and this round is a prime example of it if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and drop me a comment below with a map game mode or faction you'd like to see in the next one all right that's enough of me enjoy the very first squad v 7.2 eye in the sky and i'll see you in the next one until then peace all right eye in the sky and this is anvil invasion v1 the first eye in the sky for v 7.2 and we are on a layer I don't think I've ever seen this matchup before, all because of the voting. You guys saw it in the intro, what we got. Uh, but British invading with VDV defending, uh, I like it. Uh, the third division battle group against the seventh guards mountain air assault. So you have air assault against, whoa, hello uh, camera. You have air assault uh, against a, a pretty mechanized assault here. Two up armored warriors for the British as well as the regular uh, non-up armored warriors, a tank that spawns in in about uh, 11 minutes, two helicopters in two minutes, and then a few uh, LPPV armored cars and transports and lodgies. Up against the VDV, they have a couple, the regular lodgies, a BTR, two BTR lodgies, uh, a tr few transports, a few of the other lighter BTRs, a BMD-4, a T-72, and a BTR-ZD. Uh, as well, the ZD is the anti-aircraft BTR, a little BTR chassis with a, a AA gun slapped on top of it, as well as a, a Sprout anti-tank uh, and one helicopter. Should be a really interesting rollout. I, I can't say I've ever seen the British on this map. Uh, the uh, slower firing um, cannons of the warriors especially not being stabilized should be really interesting but i think doctrinally like in the real world warriors are, are made for kind of just stationary long range firing so if the british can roll right into this point they might have a, a pretty good uh game if they get the the first one which is uh urban south then over to market police station central and then village so all along the river uh but it's all on this rollout and i mean if you guys have played anvil you know this is a dangerous dangerous road and so we'll have to see exactly uh where they want to get set up in ready to rejoin the yeah. show <laughs> well okay. we'll see Who is that? hello all right a first lodgy so, turn off oh, sorry, off to our check. west and we'll have to no see worries. Oh, hold on. Oh, man. They're overthinking this. We have a Lodgy going up. Look at the look at the marks. They're going up here to go around. Oh, my goodness. This might be um, how to lose Anvil in 10 minutes. I don't know. Maybe that's what I named the video, but seeing the entire British forces go out east and then 
Well, the only real transport, Squad 11. We see him jump off into the river and do a nice little 360. Nice little spin move here. Um, but transport rolling up onto the hill. You got RPG off to our left. And infantry already ambushing him. And there it goes. Oh my goodness. Just full auto. Actually, whoa, British infantry clearing out the the contacts contact. close. RPG from behind. And here you go. Nope, that'll do it. Uh, Cucumber actually finish him off. And RPG hits onto the front left tire. Pops all tires. Now you just have Sonic Shadow. And it looks like, uh, oh, there it goes. AS Valve finishing it off. And that is, I, I think this video is going to be how to lose Anvil in 10 minutes. <laughs> That's the more I see this. Um, let's see here. There's no vehicles just yet uh, for the British and or the uh, the VDV, but here go the helicopters, and this might be their best bet to get into the objective. You see, LPPV just abandoned, just dead on that bridge. SAs are flying around is going to do a J hook turn into the south side of the objective south side of the map here and this might be far enough away to touch down safely both helicopters now about to touch down and full infantry squad dismounting here you go helicopters waving off and wow, flying extremely low. And let's take a look at what vehicles might be running into them here. Because you have the BTR ZD was actually it's the anti-aircraft one. Uh, just a little bit. I think we there he is. Typo. Uh, just barely missing the opportunity to knock out a helicopter. Uh, but you still have some VDV armor. Behind the line, score successful. Moving to objective. Rolling down the main road here. We have a, uh, a couple BTRs, a BTR Lodgy, as well as this uh, regular arm, uh, ar armed, I was going to say armored, but they're all kind of armored, armed BTR. And this isn't like the BTR 80s or 82s you might be familiar with. And hold on a second. Lodgy running right into another Lodgy. And infantry is going to dismount. British AT tracking. The Lodgy close, and now infantry, he, he had uh, pulled out his RPG. Instead, he's swapping back to his AK. Infantry have to peek, and this is one of the largest maps in game, but it's about to be very close quarters, and there it goes. Good, nice, controlled semi-auto fire burst, and... Oh, my goodness! Tandem round flies right by us. BTR pops. No, dude, I was lagging. I was lagging. Don't know what it was. Don't know what it was. Good calls, I guess. Uh, a e can coming around the backside here, um, but this is still going to cause a lot of problems because yeah, Bunky's going down. Uh, this is a British fob. You can see this uh, hourglass shape over here. That is the radio hab right in front of you as well. You can see the uh, top netting. Um, this is still a long ways to the objective. And this is where the infantry touched down with the helicopter. We can see BTR coming in uh, to support. And the British right now, they're just all kind of scattered. Here's the capture area, that, that dome. And that's really far away. We've already lost 30 tickets, the British. And they haven't gotten really uh, any much closer to the objective. Stein Killer, uh, Queen V, and two fel Fuel Stein rolling in with another transport. Let's see where the uh, the helicopters are coming in to help. Uh, I'm just I'm, I'm hoping a warrior will show up or you know something's gonna happen. Yeah, uh, but it just isn't. Infantry gonna dismount. Stein killer. A uh, queen V. They dropped a rally. It's just very odd. The comms I think are also a little little scattered. If all if the the warriors as oh and they're also missing a warrior this warrior there's three war they're not bringing the warriors they picked the warrior group oh my goodness this is a disaster class and okay guys i know it's gonna take y'all a little bit to figure out what faction units you want 
uh, which might be good, which plays your strengths. If you pick a brigade combat team that has four warriors, you need to take advantage of it. The way that these factions are kind of balanced is if, for example, this one has a warrior uh, loadout, uh, you're not going to have that, that many other infantry support vehicles. You're not going to have as many LPP Vs as maybe you'd like to see. Uh, you're not going to have a second challenger, things like, or you don't have any challengers. Do you have a challenger? Oh, they get a challenger in three minutes. Yeah, you're not going to have a second one. So very uh, unfortunate hey, three. that you're not taking advantage and lean to the strengths. Whereas the the Russians, on the other hand, they are being very mobile with their BTRs. Uh, Hukyo's trying to take shots into the bush here. And Stein just acts like a tree. And now the warrior finally opened it up. I think that's the first target or uh, shots I've seen on target. And there he goes. Hugh goes down to a long range warrior. And hold on a second. What's he actually getting hit by? I'm not quite, I'm not even sure. Might have been an RPG. Oh, and it was. We see Black Cat up in here. He is our, our light anti-tank player. He actually got a nice little shot off on the warrior, scared him away. Helicopter now flying over the north side of Anvil and then just once again, it's just not in a, a good enough position to do much. I think it's a handful of infantry inside. I'm just trying to figure out where they want to go. Infantry on the north here, the British infantry. Uh, they, they're kind of getting pushed away from the objective, just focusing on this main road out east. Got, not getting anywhere close to where they need to be. British helicopter now circling on the east side, and there is that anti-aircraft BTR somewhere around here, just laying in wait. And there it goes! Oh, and he opens up infantry, just spilling out of the vehicle. The helicopter's on fire, and there it goes! Like a pinata, British just absolutely <laughs> spilling out of the helicopter. And there you go, BTR ZD, the little aircraft, uh, anti aircraft platform that could. <laughs> and his long drive across the hills of Anvil have completely paid off. 149 tickets now. Uh, well, hey, how not to lose Anvil in 10 minutes. It can't uh, live up to that video title anymore because it's been 13 minutes, but something needs to change. And we might see it right here. I'm going to look at a little bit of a map because here's what uh, is concerning me. British have a Lodgy right here in front of it. We see it. South is a, uh, a BMD right here with Jammy Mr. Titan. And then we also have... Right in front of us, we have Free Balloon Day and Ricky, and they're in a sprout. Um, the the war the only warrior that is on the map. Is oh, hold on a second, and it is going to be the Lodgy British Lodgy already smoking, and he might just take the wrong turn here. Russian BMD four lurking in the hills. Possible track southeast of our current hab. And there it is. BMD4 might have just got whoopsie daisy by the Lodgy, but the Lodgy stops. BMD, it's like two ships passing in the night. Lodgy needs to be so careful here. And the BMDs missed it. They might be chasing him just now. And. Also need to watch out because look at that warrior just propped up on the hill. BMD is focusing on that Lodgy, but might not realize that that warrior has perfect vision. And there it goes. Warrior starting to pin right through. And if he can get a track, then he's he really has the BMD. Just too far. You can hear the, see those Sable Rounds pin and the BMD is going to reposition. They do have ATGMs. They do have some higher caliber weapons. They can also send the warrior's way. But the warrior knows where the BMD is, and the BMD doesn't know where the warrior is. As we hear, it sounds like that BTR ZD just pops that Lodgy from way downtown. 
was our MV2. DMD now choosing to peek, and this warrior has picked a different target. I think this might be the misplay here. He's redirected, and now the BMD has the perfect shot, and there it goes. ATGM flying, and oh my goodness, that is high. I have no idea what that was all about. There it goes. Now <laughs> you got a nice shot into the turret. Warrior needs to redirect. Pop smoke, and he's going to bail on out. BMD, I don't know if he's going to have another shot at this just because of the terrain. He might not. Oh, but hold on a second. This is an infantry squad that just dismounted right below the cliffs, and they found their way right into the view of the BMD. He's going to check to make sure that warrior isn't up, and he is... Oh, my goodness! The helicopter! Hey, we set down a new hab. Oh, that was fucked. That was fucked. <laughs> Came in a little too hot. Yeah, that's just some heavy grounded. Helicopter, maybe trying to come in for a repair station. And, uh, well. It's not how you want to do that. <laughs> it got a little too fast, a little too low, and the BMD. Enemy have radio and observe. Should see the infantry right here. And I don't think he's choosing to worry about it. 120 tickets to 753. BMD is now the king of the castle and finally here we go the warriors can make you push on the uh, urban south now otherwise we do run the risk of uh, being warriors the are now in the game urban south is the objective you can see right here with that oh and it's not a dome more of a pill no, shape uh, but you have one warrior in front of us here another uh, another warrior right behind him and i'm trying to see and they're rolling out the uh the Chally as well. So finally, the brigade combat team we thought we we're going to see is rolling out a okay. hundred tickets Let's later, though, and it might be a little too late. Um, Mason, though, he's the commander for the VDV. He needs to push and try to save this radio. Turn on our outline. We can see radio is on uh, bleed out. Warriors laying into uh, Lift Stank. Lift Stank was in that BTR with the cord machine gun earlier trying to push the uh, airborne infantry which had uh, landed and Tempest now running in might run to burgers and he does nail burgers he needs to try to save this radio and he's not able to it's a uh, C Lil C Lil is the last one. Oh, it's not in bleed out okay it's just oh and there it goes C Lil not able to finish it off. Radio wasn't on bleed out, but just dug down, so there's no spawn. And now you have the warrior mopping up the BTR. BTR, uh, life stake, trying to just bail out of there. RPG smack in the back of the BTR, or the warrior and the warrior now getting engined, and he is smack dab in the middle of an entire Russian squad, and there's a second RPG into the side, and that is not the armored warrior. You can tell because the skirts are not covered. Lightly skinned warrior, it can just get torn to shred by this infantry. And look, he's got enough infantry support that if he can just get infantry dismounting and pushing uh, the enemy infantry, they can get those reps up tandem. Oh my goodness! The BMD! I'm not sure if he actually. There it goes, finally pops. BMD! able to just redirect it was off in the cliffs out east and finally able to see that warrior and you can see just had barely the angle but needs to be very careful because you can see the <laughs> the challenger oh and he's gonna pop up right oh with hgm you might want to go for the track here if the be oh he instead he pops smoke but it doesn't matter he actually got tracked the challenge gunner oh and it's ammo racked what an amazing shot Challenger Gunners, and then he finishes him off. He doesn't even care about the ammo rack. Finishes off through the smoke. What an unbelievable shot by the British tank crew. That BMD was absolutely harassing the entire South push. Chally crew is on top of it. Insta track and insta pop. Infantry now being supported by their armor, and this is what the British needed. This armor push, you can see right on the, on the map, they're actually kind of spearheading, cutting right through. Uh, you got infantry on the left side for the 
the Russians infantry on the the left side and right side. I don't even know which one I said first. I'm, there's so much exploding and blowing up and, and shooting. I'm losing track. Speaking of track, I think the Chally was just tracked. No, he's going to back up a little bit, not tracked. But there is a, a nice little spearhead push kind of dividing this spawn point. If they can just divvy up the Russians a little bit, you're going to be in a really good spot. Yeah, we already have a rep station at C4. British need to be very careful, though. These vehicles, they're just ticket pinatas if you're not paying attention. This... Uh, this warrior already nearly dead to RPGs. Challenger coming in and just trying to support. You can see all the red infantry, 87 tickets now. And another warrior right off camera behind us trying to come in for support. Up Arburned Warrior having to bail out because he is just really one RPG away from pop in here. I do like seeing all the armor support the infantry. All this infantry squad in front of them, they work in tandem. Infantry keep the vehicle safe and vehicles keep the infantry safe. You can see the medics are working as hard as they can trying to get all the infantry up. Um, but is it Jesus? Jesus Kato? Right in the bush here, little bush wookie. Might get KF1 Pro, who was the medic getting everyone up here. He should hear the bandage. I don't know if he's going to see him. He's going to crawl right into him. Oh my goodness, he gets a twofer. And it may, might have even been a threefer. 83 tickets now. And here we go. Armor now rolling out for... T uh, for the uh, Russians, T-72, and then the Sprout. And this little armored push for the British. I don't know if they have to worry too much. There's still a lot of time before these uh, vehicles get up. And there you go. Might not even have to worry about it because the Challenger has just been engined. And he just fires a heat round into the Russian infantry right next to that warrior. Nearly killed his own warrior. And now he is tracked and hit again. RPGs just flying in. This armored group is stuck without any type of support. RPGs flying every which way. You can see there's just so much smoke from every single vehicle on the field. RPG is landing. One landed a little short. Oh, these are actually frag rounds. Looks more like a, a grenade launcher trying to just kill any crew that could possibly be out repairing. And another RPG now from the rear. Infantry is just swarming the British position. They're circling the wagons, but they can't do anything. And they're running out of time. Slowly getting picked off. It's actually impressive. The Russians haven't decided to just focus on one, and now they're calling an airstrike. And oh my goodness, the Sioux strike nails two of the vehicles. Oh my goodness. What a turn of events here. British armor absolutely deleted, picked off by infantry, RPGs, and then finally the exclamation underline, the Sioux strike. Oh my goodness. One of the best defenses I have ever seen. 39 tickets, 696, and well, they didn't lose it in 10 minutes, but unless something absolutely crazy happens here, they're about to lose it in 20, 25, something like that. I can't do math. I play video games. I don't know math. <laughs> oh my word. And there you go. Another RPG landing. Warrior just 
smoking on the outskirts of urban south russian infantry oh here it goes russian infantry loading that heat round and he's trying to get eyes on and he might need to turn yep there you go now you can see it good shot on the turret if he has his range right might have missed his chance as the warriors now rolling out trying to reposition and warrior is staying and playing that is a very brave warrior he's smoking has no more vehicle support almost no infantry support and oh speaking of infantry support never mind there's an entire infantry squad on the other side and he actually walks up right into a pistol oh my goodness absolutely hilarious that's what happens when you ever you get too focused Unbelievable. Uh, RPG is <laughs> not going to land just yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if another one here it goes. Just really shift Wing down the road. And is he actually going to get... Oh, it doesn't matter. It's tandem round. Oh, the waterlogged football from way downtown. The top of the risers. There you go. Warrior pops. And that's just how it's been going. 18 tickets left for the British. And they are going to get absolutely collapsed oh my i i i didn't think they were going to uh lose uh, on the first point but the moment they went off east with all those vehicles it just looked like that was going to be the way it was going to go but at least i've got to say nice to see all of the vehicles out and playing either way Helicopter coming in to drop infantry. Infantry is spilling out, and this is a super hot drop. Need to watch your rotors. Infantry getting shot immediately. Radio going down, losing the rotors, and now tipping over. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is just how it's been, huh? And probably one of the worst <laughs> entrances to any position. Oh sums up the game for the british rpgs flying in and well this will be that rpgs 12 tickets left and where will be the final tickets um infantry here most likely given up um trying to figure out where exactly oh hold on a second this uh, helicopter actually flying right over and did get tagged a little bit by that warrior. Warrior needs to be careful, though, because he is in a perfect position to get shot by the Sprout and... Hold on a second. Helicopter. Why is he J-hooking right in front of the warrior? I think he's just showing off. Oh, he loses the tail rotor. Warrior. Snipes the tail rotor off of the hip and he's gonna crash land and pop Unbelievable, and I think for his troubles. He actually just got shot by The t-72. Oh my goodness Unbelievable way to end the game and there it goes t-72 is popping the warrior and there goes the British attack GG's 666 tickets to zero and that is one way to lose. Oh, I, oh, do we lose? We don't have the screen. Oh no. All right, well, maybe I'll try to find it in the, the edits, but GG's, what a game.